July 8th. No. Yes, it is July 8th. And I thought it might be fun to do a day in the life today because I am off from work. I took the day off several months ago because I'm going to go to a book sale that I've been looking forward to. Ocean Grove, New Jersey, which is the little Victorian town near us, has a book sale every year and it's three days. The first day, which was yesterday, is like the payday. Today is like you just go in and buy the books. And then tomorrow is the bag sale, but there's another book sale tomorrow, so I might go to that book sale and maybe I'll include some of tomorrow in this day in the life too. But then I also think I'm going to go to a new little restaurant with my mom and maybe walk around the town of Atlantic Highlands with her. So that could be a fun day in the life, something different. It's about 8.45 right now, and my husband's just about to go get up and go to work. I've been up for two hours, but I haven't done anything yet. I uh, had some coffee, and I watched a little bit of booktube, and I am reading The Red Lamp by Mary Robert Reinhardt. So one of the things that I'm really, really trying to do is get back in the habit of reading for about 45 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half every morning. I've kind of been slacking on that. So this morning, I read for about 45 minutes so, like I have the last quarter of the book to go not even well yeah last quarter of the book to go now so this is an epistolary novel told all in diary entries by William Porter who is a professor and last year he lost his uncle inherited his uncle's house which is a kind of big rambling mansion on many acres that borders a bay. The main house, the lodge, and the boathouse are like the three main structures on this property, but then there's more, you know, things on the property as well. William Porter and his family go there to spend the summer, but right before they go, they're told that the mansion is haunted, William's wife is hesitant to stay there, so they end up staying in the lodge instead. And then lots and lots of things happen. This is a Golden Age mystery. It was written in, I think, 1928? 1925. It's set in America. Reinhardt is an American author, but it's very, like, I'm not sure where this takes place. Like, it could be California, but it could be Long Island. So I don't exactly know. But it has that like grand sweeping estate feel that a lot of English and British books have written around the same time. And this is definitely like the golden age of mystery and such a great time. There's just a lot of talk of spiritualists, there's a lot of talk of ghosts, there's a lot of like scary murders and sheep are getting murdered and people are going missing and bodies are found and bodies are not found but it's not gory and gruesome it's much more suspenseful and creepy and I'm really really enjoying it this is the first Mary Roberts Reinhardt I've picked up and I know that Kevy loves this author and has been talking her up forever so I'm super excited to finally read some of her work I have another Reinhardt book and maybe I'll find some more today at the book sale that's what I've been doing this morning not much and I will take you along with me for the rest of the day so you can see what else I get up to
Saturday morning and I've been doing some booktube watching and I've been reading. I also made the exact same breakfast that I had yesterday and I was able to finish The Red Lamp by Mary Roberts Reinhardt. I really liked this one. It was very much a golden age mystery in that it is very compelling and interesting and good and I enjoyed it. And there was lots of potential people who the murderer criminal could have been. I will not say that I guessed it because I guess like everyone at some point, but I wasn't wrong either. <laughs> but it's definitely a golden age mystery in that it's like a little long-winded, it's a little slow, it's a little meandering, and it's not super dynamic necessarily. And partly that has to do I think with the writing style but I did really enjoy it and I can't wait to read more of Reinhardt because this one was quite good. Yesterday at the book sale I did pick up a Mary Roberts Reinhardt so I'm excited to get to that one at some point. So now I have two others of hers that I can still get to. The book sale was really fun. I got 29 books, 27 of which were for me, two of which were for my husband. One was a cross-stitch book for him to work on and I spent $39. So it came out to like under $1.35 per book. Those will all be listed in my July uh, recently acquired books spreadsheet. So you'll be able to see those there. I came home, recorded all those books in my spreadsheet, went to a late lunch or early dinner with my mother in um, Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey, went on a walk with her and then came home and basically went to bed. I like got into bed at like 8 o'clock and I was asleep by 9.30. I read some of my book. So now I have to pick a new book and I was hoping to go to another book sale but the book sale in Bradley Beach was cancelled again. This was the rain date for the previously rain cancelled book sale so now we will have another rain date for this book sale that was today. I have to go to work later so I'm not sure if I'm gonna turn this into a like weekend in my life because we might be going somewhere tomorrow, so that might be a fun time, or if I'm going to kind of stop the video here, but we will find out.
longer than a day in the life, a few days in the life. I did some interesting things. I read The Red Lamp by Mary Roberts Reinhardt, which I already talked about, in between going to the vegan pop-up and the book sales and everything. I also picked up Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. So you can see more of this in my June, no, my July wrap-up. I also finished The Hunting Party, which I was reading on audio, and you can see more of this as well in that July wrap-up. So thanks so much for joining me for a few days in my life. This was definitely not a typical day in my life because I didn't take you through kind of everything that I did every day, but a lot of the days I was just going to work, so I didn't think it was necessary to show you that. Let me know if you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I do in my off time. Let me know if you would like more week in the life, day in the life videos. And thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!